Okay, so welcome to the Velocity Project. This is our V-Track, our prototype of a roller coaster track. It has infrared sensors, which are the white boxes you can see at the top and the bottom of the track, and a digital timer at the bottom. So it will time your roller coaster. It has to fit through those gates. So that's something to think about during your design. And you will start your roller coaster off just before the infrared sensor, like so. First thing you need to do is make a prototype or a template of your roller coaster so it has to fit within our template like so so that's the size of the wood you have and you've got to make sure that your wheels will fit onto your roller coaster that's really important that they don't touch so you've got these templates you need to make then your template that fits it will then go onto the piece of wood everyone has the same size piece of wood like so to make your prototype and you'll mark and draw around it with a pencil this is one an example of one that's been done before you will then use a coping saw to cut out the shape of your roller coaster. So coping saw around. If there's really, really complex shapes, you can use what we call a Heckler saw or fret saw. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses and you can cut out the complex shapes using that. Watch your fingers, be really careful. You could then use the belt sander, again, using safety glasses. You can turn that on using the big green button, red button to stop. Press that, make sure safety glasses, long hairs tied back or anything tucked in that you get caught in that. And take your time, keep your fingers back and sand down to your lines to shape your roller coaster as you would like. Just like that. Again, staying off the line, take your time. Once you're finished, hit the red button like so, making sure we're really safe. Then it's time to clean it up. So you can use some sandpaper, put it in a vise, in the woodworking vise, and just sand down any marks, any lines, anything like that off your roller coaster. So take your time, sand down, let's do a really good job of your roller coaster, make sure it's nice and clean up after. Once you've done that, you can go back and use our templates to mark out the holes for the wheels. Now you need to make sure that the holes are not too close to the edge, so that when we drill the holes, they're not going to break out with the sides. You need to make sure they fit there. And then using some wheels, you can make sure they're not too close together. This is the pillar drill. Again, using safety glasses, tying the back long hair. Anything loose needs to be tucked in or taken off so it can't get caught. Press the green button, hold it down, keep your fingers back away from the, the drill bit, and you're gonna hold it down and drill through the marks you've just marked with the template. Again, making sure it's not too close to the edge. So once you've got it right in the right place, just hold it down with your left hand, pull down nice and slowly with the right hand, drilling all the way through, and you'll feel it go all the way through once you've drilled through like so. Both holes need to be done. So there we have the two wheels, making sure. But what we can also do then is we can reshape if we need to. So if there's any bits, you can see these bits here were a little bit too long, they'll probably get caught on our track. So as and when, you can make iterations or changes to it. And this is dowel, and this is what we're gonna to use to hold our wheels together. It's gonna to be like the axle for our wheels. We're gonna cut that with a junior hacksaw, which is the blue handled saw. And then we're gonna drill our holes with a tight fitting hole, so the dowel will fit tightly. And then a loose fitting hole for the hole going through the middle, so the wheels can then spin, like so. Then we're ready to test it. So we put it onto our track, let go. And as you can see, this one didn't, this one failed. It didn't quite work uh, quite well. So you just go back, make changes as you need to, give another go and keep going until you get it right. So this is one that worked really, really well and flies down the track. And at the bottom of the track, you'll see we've put a box with cushions in it to stop it damaging. You can add wings and things like that using acrylic. You can then spray paint it or paint it any color you want to. So in our spray booth, you can then add some color to it, a base color like so. Nice thin coats of paint, spinning it around to make sure it's nice and evenly coated. You can even design acrylic wheels and laser cut them on our laser cutter. So you can design it on Techsoft Designs V3. We set the wheels to 50 millimeter diameter and a six millimeter diameter hole in the center. So the way to do this is double click on the circle tool and it's asked you for the radius. The radius is half the diameter. So we type in 25, so half 50. Click OK and put the hole there. We're then gonna use the contour tool which is that one there. Click on that, and if you type in 11, 11 millimeters, it's basically gonna give you two holes now. So if you watch close carefully, I click once, then I click again. Using the measuring tool, I can then check that this should be 50, and the middle hole should be six. I then need to delete the bigger one. I click the delete any, and I delete that hole, which I don't want. You can then even add really cool things that can be engraved onto the wheels. So I'm gonna add some flames for mine because mine's gonna be really fast. So you can copy and paste a vector image from Google, right click paste 
like on to to design zoom out and make it a bit smaller so click on the corner drag it down and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to a tool called bitmaps at the top so find bitmaps there uh, contour bitmap and then change that to zero click ok and then it should outline it for you so then the laser cut will be able to pick up those lines and engrave it so if you select it and I've got a bit of writing at the bottom, which I don't want. So in order to get rid of that, I'm then going to delete the original file. So I'm left with the outline. I click on that and I go to explode, which is that little cross at the top. I click OK. And then I can then delete anything I don't want like that. Now, in order to tell the laser cutter that it needs to be engraved, not cut, we change the lines to red. So black is to cut. So any black lines will be cut. Any red lines will be engraved. So there's what that's what I want engraved. So that's red. I click on it, so I drag over top and click, and then I can then move that over top of my wheel that I want to be engraved onto, place it on so like that, and that will then be engraved. You obviously need four wheels altogether. If you want to add text to your wheels, you can add writing to, to put the name of your roller coaster or whatever. You can then go use the text tool to do that. We'll then put it onto our laser cutter and we'll check the settings, are all good to go. We'll then set up the laser cutter like this. You can choose what color acrylic you would like, press the big green button and off to go and it cuts through the acrylic. So we're looking for four wheels, remember. Once it's done, we'll turn it off, we'll take it out. And as you can see, the one of the wheels has been engraved with my flame from earlier.